guys, it's Riley. I know it has been a little while since I have uploaded a video. Life has been kind of crazy and I know I've been inconsistent and I'm sorry that I've been inconsistent. I really love posting videos and getting feedback and I know that you guys really love them too so I'm going to try really, really hard to post more regularly back to my normal schedule of once a week every Sunday and because I have been gone for so long I decided that you guys are going to get two videos this week so you get this one which is very long awaited I'm sure you know by the title this Sunday I am also going to be posting either a color with me or a story time video oh I didn't know little Jinxie was in here Jinx is in here my kitty cat oh he's gonna be really annoying the entire time I film he's just gonna be sitting there meowing and reaching out to me to get me to pet him because that's what he do he's such a sweet boy so today's video is going to be a complete onesie collection I am pretty happy with where my collection is right now and I also don't think that I will be getting any onesies for at least a couple of months and because of that I thought now would be a really really good time to do this as well as because when I asked you guys on Instagram at crayons and pencils if you're not already following what kind of videos you wanted to see literally the first 10 responses I got to that ask box were a onesie collection. Y'all really want a onesie collection. And I don't blame you. I have a whole stack right here, as I'm sure you can see. I'm gonna go through and count them really quick to tell you exactly how many I have, cause it's a decent sized number. So I just counted and I have a lot more than I thought I did. So right here in this stack, as you can see, I'm sitting on the bed and it's piled up to like my chest right now. I just counted, I have 58 onesies. That is a lot of onesies. So prepare your little brains because this is going to be a very long video. Let us start with the top of the stack. This is one of my most recent onesies. I got it secondhand from a mutual who lives in the UK and it is one of the magical girl onesies minus the bow because they lost the bow and don't know where it went and I'm fine with it. I like it without the bow. So I got this little one and it's just white with the sleeve and back thing and it also came with this skirt which fits which is really nice so they go together and I like that now I do want to warn you guys basically all of the shops that I have purchased these onesies from are 18 plus shops so you should not purchase from them or look at their sites and stuff like that until or unless you are 18 years old it's just important to respect the company's boundaries as much as you want other people to respect your boundaries so I am going to give the names of the shops but pretty please use discretion make sure and check if they're 18 plus most of them are and pretty please do not buy from them unless you are 18 or older this first stack of onesies is from little Tude. jinx just hopped up on my onesies and he's like hey I'm here hi the first one is one of my newest little Tude ones and I think I think it's my favorite little Tude onesie, I really do. And it is this like primary color tie-dye. It has red bands on it and it's got metal snap and it's so cute. Then this one is also from Little Tude, but my friend Judah sent it to me. Their Instagram is insect kid. I will link it down below so you can go follow them. I love them. And this is just their little nighttime onesie. This is also one of their newer ones. I haven't worn this one yet, but I'm going to and it's gonna be cute. Then I have the blue and yellow way beyond cute as well as this brand new one which also still has the tag on it because I haven't worn it yet. But this is their new rainbows and unicorns pink one and it's super adorable i am really excited to wear this and because it's a dress and not a onesie i'm not including it in this video but they have a dress that has a blue background with the same unicorn print on it and i have that dress and it's so cute and it's so comfy i'm sure i'll wear it in a video coming up but 
I like it and it's super good and ah, it's cute. You know what? I just realized I lied to you because I have two onesies that are sitting in the closet over there that need to be fixed. So I do not have 58 onesies, I have 60 onesies. BRB, I'm gonna go grab those really quick so I can show them to you. They're not wearable currently because I need to like patch a few things up on them, but other than that, they're perfect. All right, we are back. I have this one, which is one of the ones that needs to be fixed. It is the yellow long sleeve little tude onesie. And then I also have the same one, but in this pink color, which I love. These are actually my favorite long sleeve onesies. They have a couple new colors that they came out with and I want them so bad. So if any of you wanna spoil baby, my wishlist link is down below. And this is one of their original prints, the princess and unicorns print. They're a little toy cars print, which I love. This one's super cute. This is like their zoo animal slash giraffe slash kitty drawing <laughs> onesie. I also think it's cute. It's got like mint green sleeve cuffs. This one is also one of my favorites. It's daddy's little boy and it's green and blue and that's like my aesthetic. It's super duper cute and I love it a lot. This one is more of a holiday themed one and it says I've been naughty. This one is the little pride one. So not only is it pride for being a regressor, but it's pride for being LGBTQ plus. And I love it and I also have these socks that match this one. This is their original way beyond cute it is white and then pink and purple this one I like a lot because it looks like a real baby onesie it says our change me booty it's like piratey it's super cute and it actually looks like a literal baby onesie like made for real babies this one is also cute and I have it for my more feminine days it says daddy's little girl in a heart this one was the first little tune one I got and I got it for my birthday in 2017 it was gifted to me I wore on mine and daddy's first date. It says Captain Adorable. I love it so much. And this one is the last of the little two onesies I have and it is their digital camo one. Now we are on to brands that I only have a few of. I have this one which is one of the ones that I'm trying to fix. The one thing that I don't like about this is how huge the shoulders are so because they come up like that so we're gonna sew them like right here so it's not a giant neckline because I hate that but this is the mental health print I believe it was limited edition it's from Little's laboratory and it's got a bunch of different basically personifications of different mental illnesses on it and I struggle with mental illness a lot in my everyday life and it's a big reason as to why I regress so when I saw this onesie I was like okay I need that it is so cute and I really like the awareness it brings and I believe they all also donated some of the proceeds to mental health charities as well. So that is super, super good. This next one is hands down in my top favorites. This one is the little baby elephants one from Littles and Lace. Not Littles and Lace, Littles in Lace. And this is actually the onesie I have that fits me perfectly. It is the best fitting onesie I own. <laughs> and it's the only one I have from them. I do wanna get more from them because they're super high quality and they're adorable and they're so original. This one's got my little baby elephant friends on it. And elephants are my favorite animal if you did not know, so it's perfect. This next one I actually have two of because the company, which was at the time they were going by Fox's Little Universe, they were an age regression shop and I honestly did not have very good experiences with them because I bought this onesie and then I waited over eight months for it and they had their shipment and they just never sent it out and they scammed a lot of people and pretty sure they're not around anymore which is a good thing but aside from them having no idea how to run a business the onesie itself is wonderful but because it took so long to come to me they sent me two of them so I have one and one for my giant bear which I'm honestly not against so that is this little spooky one. It's got roses 
and candles and spider webs and black cats and like the Grim Reaper. It's super cute and it's made of milk silk so it's very soft. A few of these are actually made of milk silk. And like I said, they sent two of them because it took so long. This next one is also from them, but it wasn't an original design. It was just one that they got from the manufacturer. And there was a point in time when I was promoting for them before all that stuff went down. And they actually sent me this one and it's super tight, doesn't fit great, but it's still cute and it's this little bunnies one. This next one is from Lil Kink Boutique and it is so cute. It's supposed to be their like snow white onesie dress, but the only reason I got it was because it's primary colors and you know me, I'm obsessed with primary colors and it's just a little skirt and a little dress with a little bow and a little collar. It's cute. Now we are moving on to the rears onesies. I have their princess pink onesie. I've got the classic safari onesie, one of the most discreet onesies you can own. Their plain black onesie. I actually really love this one. It's great, it fits great. Rears onesies fit me so well. They fit me so well. They're a little long, but that's okay. I have their little monsters onesie. One of their older dino onesies. They had a sale on this one and I was able to snag it and it's super cute and I love it. I've got their rebel onesie. And this one I consider a onesie, but it's actually a sleep suit. I've got the legs pulled up and over because it's very long, but it's got a bunch of little green elephants all over it and it is a full body footed sleep suit but since it's one piece and all that I do consider it a onesie and I ordered it way too big because I wasn't expecting that because of how big I am around it assumed that I was like six foot five so we're gonna have to like fix the length on it somehow but I really still like it now we are moving on to onesies down under I believe most of these onesies down under ones are limited edition or they weren't but most of them are not in print anymore so you can't get them this one is my favorite one onesies done under one. It is their rainy days print. I have the passy clip that matches it. I got their dino tank onesie on clearance when they were having it. It was like seven dollars. So worth it. Their old cats and dogs onesie. The smiling planets onesie which was actually the very first onesie that daddy bought me. Their patchwork animals onesie. I don't know what this one's called. I believe it's like a sleepy time or something. It's one of their nighttime onesie prints. This one's more recent. This is is their, oh, I want to say it's limited edition 2016. Limited edition 2016 Christmas onesie. It's very nice. It might be 2017. I'm not 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure it's 2016 because there have been two other sets since this one. They're a little spooky ghost onesie. One of the original ODU onesies, the classic cars and trucks. This was the first onesies down under onesie that I got and actually my second onesie ever. I've got their little otters one which is adorable. I love it. This is their more recent nautical print. It's got a bunch of cute characters on it and it's like all about boats in the sea. This one is one of my favorite ones but I'm gonna see if I can find it on Depop or something in a bigger size because this one's a little small for me but it is their helicopters and planes onesie. I love it so much. It's so cute. Their OG original space one their more original sleepy time goodnight little one onesie, their fairy tale onesie, their monsters onesie, and that is it for onesies down under. And now we move on to baby pants from whom I have three. This was my first onesie ever, ever, and it was this pastel yellow onesie from Baby Pants. And then I also have this white one, plain white one from Baby Pants, as well as this baby pink one from Baby Pants. This one is from Big Tot. I believe I got it on Etsy. They might have their own site now. I don't know, but it's a baby boy and it's so cute. And this one also fits me really, really well. And now we are on to AB Universe. I have quite a few solid color onesies from them. I've got the pink. I've got the purple. I've got the green. I've got the blue. And I also have the orange. And then I also have their two original printed onesies, which are this little stars and moons one, which I think is adorable. It's one of my faves. And this one, which is space penguins. 
penguins that are astronauts in space. Gotta love it. Now we are down to my very last three onesies, but certainly not the least. The shop is called Baby Your Doll. I don't think they're around anymore, but they were a handmade onesie shop. I had lots of bad experiences with them. I had some good experiences, but also lots of bad experiences, so if they are still around, I wouldn't recommend buying from them because they messed up the sizing in a lot of them. And for example, my favorite ever custom crayons onesie with the color blocked, the neck was so huge that we had to put elastic in it to make it a normal neck size. So that was frustrating, but it's fine with the elastic. It still looks super cute, and I believe this is like my favorite onesie ever because it's crayons and it's me and it's primary and I love it. I also have this magic witchy one. It's got brooms and witches hats on it. And then my very last onesie is this gray confetti onesie. I had to put elastic in the neck of this one too and it is long sleeved. I don't know if you can see on it but it has like primary color dots and speckles all over it. So it's got blue, yellow, green, and red red all over it. And that, my friends, is my onesie collection. I have been collecting onesies since November of 2016, so it has taken me a few years to get to where I am today. And I do plan on collecting more in the future. I love onesies so much. I wear them all the time, and they're super comfortable and soft and cute and childish, and they make me so happy. So thank you all so, so much for watching this video and sticking around. You can subscribe to my channel if you want to see more age regression content from me. I post over here about once a week. I also have a main channel and a vlog channel that I post on and they are linked in the description if you are interested in subscribing to those as well. You can go ahead and follow me on Instagram which is at crayons and pencils and you can also follow me on Twitter which is at crayon kiddo. I love you guys a whole heckin lot and I will see you soon. Goodbye.